Welcome to TPI, the global leader in test products. And in this video, we're going to take a closer look at the UK let by and tightness test. First thing we're going to do is to take the SP620, and this also applies um, to our 608BT. So if you have that model, then exactly the same principles apply to that as to this. So after we've turned the SP620 on, we're looking to find that um, within the TPI view app. And as you can see there, it's listed at the top. And so if we just click on that, you should be able to see that the green light is now flashing on the SP620, which tells us it's connected. And now we can see live pressure up on the TPI view app. We can uh, zero the readings from here. Um, and as we're going to be looking at let by tightness test, quick swipe across and that's where we find the let by tightness test. Um, instantly on iOS, those different options, live pressure, work and pressure and let by tightness are actually at the bottom of the screen rather than at the top as they are in Android. And we have two types of tests. We have the auto test, which is where you're looking at uh, no more than a 0.25 millibar permissible drop or a manual test where you decide whether it passes or fails at the end of each section. What I'm going to do is just quickly show you the auto test. I've got the app set up on a demo, so the timings are a lot shorter than what you would have um, when you're doing the full test. So we start the test off. We can lock and start the timer, and this is your let by. So this is looking for nothing, letting by the meter, then we can move on to the next part of the test, which is stabilization period. So this is where you would go up to the 20 millibars. Start the timer again. This would run for the one minute period. And at the end of that, it will just allow you to move on to the final part of the test, which is the tightness test. Here again, we're back up towards the 20 millibars. Um, on the auto test, you will see that if at any time it falls out of the 0.25 of a millibar, the screen will go red, which is a really good indicator that you need to be looking at something potentially that could be wrong. At the end of the test, if that's passed, then again, everything will be in green and we are at the stage where we can just create the report. So now you've got let by tightness, which is the reference ID, serial number. As you move down through the test, you can see all the start stop pressures from the let by, what they were at the stabilization period, and then finally at the tightness test. Most importantly, not only do you get the dates and times, but you do also get the GPS location. Once you've got that, and that GPS location, by the way, comes up on every report that's created within the TPI view app. You can actually email it as just as an individual report if you wanted to. We do have an optional printer, Bluetooth printer, that you could just print that report out onto. Or and the one you'll get used to doing most often is uh, save to job. And that's as easy as it is. Look out for more videos on the website. We're at www.tpieurope.com um, and there'll be a link through there to our YouTube site. Thanks very much.